So looking forward for that race in the AFC West, do you think it's smooth sailing for the Chiefs going forward? I really do. And it's because the Chargers injuries. It's not just because the Chiefs beat the Chargers on Thursday night, but the Chargers to me always was the biggest contender. I never thought that Broncos or the Raiders truly were going to push the Chiefs in this division. Well, now we look at the Chargers. Your left tackle is out. Joey Bose is going to be out for a considerable amount of time as well. I don't I just don't know how they're going to be able to compete at the level to win the division. Now, do I think the Chargers can still make the playoffs? Yes. You got Justin Herbert. If they can get the ribs right, then that's one thing. But to, to win the division, no, I, I think the Chiefs are going to be able to do this. And, you know, all the talk about it being the toughest division in football, I think we all probably got ahead of ourselves a little bit. And despite me even bringing up the coaching, um, I didn't think Nathaniel Hackett would be this bad. I didn't think we'd be talking about, you know, the worst coach in football right now when it comes to <laughs> decision making. Let's kind of build off of that, sort of outside the division. How do you see the AFC shaking out? It's been interesting because the Bills are great or banged up. The Chiefs are right there. Ravens are always a threat. The Dolphins are sort of TBD now with two. Uh, but now that we have a, a bit of a sample size, has it changed your view on how we see things evolving throughout the season? The only one would be the Chargers. I thought they had a chance to be uh, maybe yeah. the, the third best team or so. And as I, I mentioned with the injuries, I think we, we got to really reevaluate the Chargers. But I hey, look, the Cincinnati Bengals were 0-2. Um, and I don't know where you guys were at uh, at the time, but I, I thought it was too early to to write them off. And now they've bounced back with two in a row. And I think they've kind of stabilized the ship a little bit. So I still consider them one of those teams. And then I was high on Baltimore heading into the season. I think they win that division. And Lamar Jackson's playing better than he did in even his MVP season. So I really haven't changed the, the top three or four teams. I still think Chiefs and Bills are, are those top two. What I think th that maybe has changed is the gap between the Chiefs and Bills and let's say the Ravens has closed. I would have said Miami, but as you said, like, we just don't know with how long Tua could be out of the very serious stuff going on down there.